Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Raider here with a Sprig and Zay game unboxing video. This is going to be an unboxing of the first box of the 5th Trooper Stormtide, the Legion uh, narrative campaign. There's going to be spoilers in here. I'm going to show you everything that comes in it. So if you don't want to see what's in it, obviously don't watch it. Uh, but I figured since I got it, I might as well show some of you guys what we've got going on here. So we'll... Uh, Go ahead and just start cutting. See how this. Oh, they've got some more here. And again, there are going to be spoilers, so if you don't want to know what's inside this box, you don't want to watch this video. But the first thing we have is a what's in the box. Uh, two rules box, two sets of nine command cards, two commander minis, four command commander unit cards, two sets of order tokens, uh, mission, pa mission one packet, which is mission briefing, turn zero guard cards, mission objective tokens, mission two packet, which is mission briefing, turn zero cards, and mission objective tokens. We've got the QR code here, which will let us uh, enter in any of our data and our results from some of our battles and then looks like a nice little kind of postcard thing on the back so we'll throw that to the side there uh, first thing we're gonna look at we've got a mini here and I believe these are all done by Skull Forge if I'm not mistaken and this guy come on there we go so it looks like this dude here is going to be a gun wielder. We've got an arm <laughs> that's hanging out on the side here. Um, yeah, that looks kind of cool. See? Hopefully, you can see what he looks like there. But he looks pretty cool. So we'll put that back. The, the quality is really good. I've gotten some some resin printed 3D or some resin printed minis and I don't like the way they feel. This one actually feels like a, a real mini if that makes any sense to anybody. Uh, and we've got another mini here. This guy. Oh, interesting. Cool looking dude. Alright. He kind of looks like a very angry uh, Krennic. Uh, so that's that guy there. We've got, these look like the command cards. Um, oof. These don't even want to come out. There we go. And it says box one on it. Um, armored Assault looks like a one pip. When a heavy support unit is assigned an order from this card, it gains barrage, steady, and an aim token. Two pip, two vehicle units. When a vehicle unit is assigned an order from this card, it gains the first time during your activation that you displace an enemy unit. Roll one white defense die for each miniature in the unit. Unit suffers a wound for each block rolled. The unit gains a suppression token, so that's the unorthodox tactician, basically. Uh, a three pip, man the guns. When a unit is assigned an order token, from this card, it gains one aim token and may recover. You may remove up to one vehicle damage token from units you control. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, armored Assault. When a, heavy, uh, when a heavy support unit is assigned an order from this card, it gains barrage, steady, and an aim token. Ouch. We've got the door being opened. Uh, tank shock two vehicle units, a two pip. When a vehicle unit is assigned an order from this card it gains the first time during your activation when to place. So the exact same that we already read there. Uh, a three pip here, man the guns. When a unit is assigned an order token from this card it gains an aim token and may recover. You may remove one vehicle damage token from units you control. Uh, we got a one pip here. Somebody has to be a hero. Infantry division, one trooper unit. When a trooper unit is assigned an order token from this card, it gains Dauntless, Steady, and an Aim token. 
Uh, keep them down. Infantry Division 2 Trooper Units. When a Trooper Unit is assigned an order from this card, its weapons gain Suppressive. Brothers in Arms, a 3 pip for the Infantry Division. 3 Core Units. When a unit is assigned an order from this card, it gains Inspire 1. And when it activates, it may restore 1 mini to a friendly Core Unit at range 1. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that card. Uh, and then again, we have somebody needs to be a hero, keep them down, and brothers in arms. And then doors and corners, special forces division, a one pip, one special forces unit. When a special forces unit is assigned an order from this card, it gains tactical one, nimble, and a dodge token. Oh, that's a good card there. Surgical strike, two pip, special forces division, two special forces units, assign four observation tokens to an enemy unit. Uh, stealth, theme, stealth Team 3 Pip, Special Forces Division, 2 Trooper Units, Divulge, uh, Deploy Unit Step, select 2 Special Forces Units, they gain Infiltrate and lose Scout X, if able, or when a Special Forces Unit is assigned an order from this card, it gains Low Profile, and then we've got the same cards again, and then it looks like we've got our Commander cards, um... Commander blank name has advanced combat, so two red in melee, or three black for a blaster rifle. Uh, five health, two courage, and I'm not sure what that two is, to be honest. Uh, probably movement two, yeah, movement two, because there's three pips there. Uh, inspire one, after your rally step, remove one suppression token from another friendly unit at range one to two. Uh, he's 60 points. So that's your generic commander. And then the other generic commander, um, it looks like this, yeah, it's the exact same. Two red, three black, uh, all of the every, all of the stats are, still, are the same. And, yep, so it's two identical versions of, or four identical versions of the same card there. So that's everything that belongs in what this bag says is box one. Uh, we'll put that away a little later. We've got a bunch of order tokens here from the fifth trooper. One is Inferno and one is Hurricane, if I remember correctly, are the um, the team designations there. So there's those. You've got your two rule books and there's a lot in these rule books actually. Uh, so it kind of tells you how to play. Uh, it gives you uh, the first chapter here. It tells you, you know, if you're familiar with Imperial Assault, it's kind of similar to that. You can build your battle cruiser. And it tells you the crew and everything on the battle cruiser, where you're going to be. Uh, most of your battles are going to take place. How you can level up your character. You've got powers down here. Powers, you know, powers. Uh, you can gain disengage, gain arsenal 2, steady, so a lot of the keywords that we already know. Uh, and this is your battle force here, this is going to be the, the units that you take onto your ship. And then it has all your upgrades that you can buy, and your command cards, and it tells you they're, what terrain is going to constitute for cover, um, movement, things along those lines. You got a little bit of art here, some an, an FAQ. Uh, oh, a painting guide. This is kind of cool. So you have a nice little painting guide and it tells you the paints that you need and you've got your minis and such. Um, shading and highlighting, that's cool. You can even keep track of everything and it looks like it's a grand total of 24 missions at least planned out. And if it sticks to to a box, you're looking at a full year that that it seems that everything is planned out. So that'll be nice. And then you've got another exact copy. Um, we've got mission one and mission two. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open mission one, um, but we're not gonna look at what's in mission one. No, well, hmm. Yeah, so there's some tokens. Oh, there's some more command cards in there. So we'll just kind of, that's, that's that. 
I'm not going to show too much of that uh, because my my play buddy is probably going to be wondering the same thing so I don't want to have any sort of advantages on him there. Uh, same thing, got more tokens and such uh, for the Mission 2. And that is actually everything that comes in that box. Uh, now they have, this one's already, this is the first box, this has already been shipped out. I believe you'll be able to get it a little later, but right now this is uh, already ordered and everything. So this is going to be $30 a month for two missions. You're going to get command cards, you got minis. Uh, I imagine there's a third mini maybe, because I think one of them is a powers character, uh, but not 100% sure. But that's everything that comes in the Stormtide box. Looking forward to running through this. Uh, hope to do some battle reports, which will be you know spoiler filled, of course. Um, but we'll let you know. We won't give anything away, at least on uh, any sort of thumbnails or anything. But that's it for the first box from Stormtide from the 5th Trooper Network. Uh, so like, subscribe, share, comment, and we'll see you when we do some of our battle reports.